A mysterious diary from 150 years ago appears in Wonderful Precure. Hello everyone, it's Leo and in this video we're going to check out summaries for the November episodes from Wonderful and also two new titles for the two first episodes from December. From Wonderful Precure, it feels like those episodes are going to be more chill and fun and also very heartwarming. But there is one specific thing that is really making my mind go like, oop, something interesting is going to happen, I believe. So let's start checking out the summaries. First with episode 40, the great one Nyan incident. So in this episode, the wonderful team is going to go to Toboe Shrine, which is where Satoru believes that Gao is. But when they get there, there is no one at the shrine. Komugi and Nico will detect the presence and the scent of Gao at the shrine, so they know that that Gao was there recently. But Nico, with her human form, is now going to concentrate her power, and she is going to use it to try and find traces of the presence of Gao. But her power is still very unstable, and it will go out of control. And with a flash of intense light. Iroha turns into a dog and Mayu turns into a cat. We've seen the preview, we've seen the pictures of both animals. I feel like this episode is going to be a lot of fun. I love Iroha's design as a dog. Girl, look at that. It's so cute. Mayu's design is cute as a cat as well, but Iroha's design as a dog, it is just everything. I love it. And now let's talk about the other ones that we didn't really know what they were about. Episode 41 is called Yuki on Stage. And in this episode, we are going to see the, the characters that we've seen before from the theater club again. And they are called Kitsunezaki and Tanuki Hara. They're both from the drama club and they want to perf they want to perform a play uh, in Animal's Town, Animal Town's Drama Festival, and they ask Yuki to join the drama club and participate in the play. Uh, the drama club is uh, a very good club, it has a very good track of winning competitions, but Yuki does not want to take part in this. What happens in this episode is that while this is happening, we are gonna see Karasuma again. Karasuma is a character that we've seen in episode 23, and she was the one who told the story of the wolves and the humans and the tragic destiny of the wolves that happened in the past. This character is their classmate and she will appear again. This character will show Satoru an old document. This document is a diary written about 150 years ago and this document describes how a man named Subaru befriended and interacted with a wolf. I believe that this is probably the story that originated the Mirror Stone and that is why Nico wanted to create the Mirror Stone for them to communicate, become friends. But we know that something happened and there was a, a decimation of the animals, of the wolves specifically, by humans. What is going to happen is that the drama club is going to use this document as inspiration. So um, Kitsunezaki will uh, write a script, write a script. Oh my God, for a new play. And in the next day, Kitsunezaki will bring the new screenplay, which they have written in a single night. And it is a fun fantasy adventure play about a friendship between wolves and humans. Ooh. We know that there was something about wolves and humans before they had a good relationship before, but we know that it did not end well. Probably this story that is going to be written is not going to be a bad one and it's going to have a happy ending. But the thing is, there is not enough time or enough people to get the new play ready in time. So Komugi and Iroha will offer to help, and Mayu says that she will make the costumes for the play. Seamstress Mayu on stage, and then Yuki will want to join in, and she will accept being an actress in the play if she is able to wear Mayu's costumes, or the costumes made by Mayu. 
So this adventure from Yuki is going to be an interesting one and I feel like she is going to transform into something else but it's not Kirinami this time. It is a new persona, a different character. I'm very excited to see this. And you know, it's nice that it seems that there's a lot of lore in this episode, or at least the start of the lore from Wonderful. Who is this man called Subaru, who had a friendship with a wolf? What was actually going on? What was coming down and why? did it not end well and it ended in tragedy what happened this i feel like is a start for us to see this again in the future of wonderful in the possibly in the later episodes of the show so now let's talk about the last episode that we have the summary for which is episode 42 Wonderful home for everyone. I was theorizing based on this title that they were talking about a new place that they were going to create or anything. And I was thinking of Nico Sama maybe being the focus, but it's not the case. The focus is on Mayu's father, and this wonderful home for everyone is actually Animal Town. So, uh, what happens is that the mayor of Animal Town has asked Mayu's father, Takayuki, to take photos for an animal calendar. This animal calendar will be distributed to the townspeople of Animal Town. And so everyone from Wonderful will decide to show Takayuki around Animal Town. First, they're going to go to the Seaside Park. Uh, and he will see that there are many dogs playing around with their owners. Uh, Mayu will walk over to a bench where she can get a good view of them all. And with Takayuki's advice, she will begin to take pictures of Yuki. And Takayuki will also capture them having fun with his camera. Lots of pictures are going to be taken here. Uh, and so, after visiting, visiting lots of different places in Animal Town and taking lots of pictures, Takayuki will be amazed at how people and animals mutually support each other in this town. And after Takayuki leaves, Komugi and the others will look at the photos that they took and they will get excited about choosing their favorites. And then Torame will appear and the action will begin. I feel like the most important thing about this episode is the fact that we are uh, coming to the last part of Wonderful. We are getting into the last 10 episodes. This is episode 42 and this season will probably have 50. So we're very close to the end. And I feel like this episode is stressing how Animal Town is uh, a great place for both humans and animals to live together. They live together in harmony. Because I feel like this show has a big mission, which is to build a counter-argument to Gaul's argument. And it's a very hard thing to do. And I feel like they're trying to show that it is, a, it is possible for animals and humans to live in harmony, because Animal Town is a great example of that. And um, while it's not something that it can be replicated in real life, in real world. Uh, it is definitely something that works in fiction, and I feel like this is this can be a good thing. I feel like this episode is just going to be an episode in which we're going to see everyone having fun together, everyone taking lots of pictures together. They're going to have great moments, you know, and we're going to see them all being captured in the camera. We're going to see lots of beautiful sceneries as well, probably. Just a heartwarming moment to remind us that Animal Town is this amazing place to live. Very nice. And uh, it's also important to remember that Nico Sama is the one who um, started noticing, I mean, someone from outside Animal Town. She is the one who started noticing that Animal Town is a powerful place for animals and humans. And this is a possible thing because she did not trust humans either. And Animal Town is the one thing that changed her mind. And will it be enough for Gao to change his mind and change his views? We're gonna see it in the future. And now for the two episode titles from December, we have episode 43, which is called Weaving Thoughts. Weaving is a constant theme from Mayu's character. Uh, it is also a part of Kira Lillian's persona. It's part of her transformation roll call. 
and it is also part of her uh, personality because that's what she likes doing. She's a very good seamstress. And um, so we don't know what this episode is about, but it's clear that it's something related to Mayu. Right? So probably the first episode of December is going to be related to her. We have episode 41, which is kind of related to Yuki in a way. And then 43 is probably a Mayu episode. And 44 is called Lots of Happiness. I mean, this is a very uh, simple title that can be uh, basically related to every single character in this show. But I feel like uh, I can I can see that it might be something related to uh, Iroha. But I can also, I, I was looking at the pictures, and I can also see this being something related to Komugi's and Iroha's relationship as well. It can be about Satoru, it can be about anyone basically, but I am trying, I'm not trying, I'm inclined to believe that this is related to Iroha and Komugi just because uh, we're in the, the last few moments of Wonderful and their relationship is the main plot of Wonderful, right? Komugi's and Iroha's relationship is what makes Wonderful so special. It's, it, I feel like it's the main, it's the core of Wonderful Precure. So I really believe that uh, this Lots of Happiness episode is related to them, but I'm not sure. It can be about anyone basically in the cast. And so this is all we have for now. I'm very excited for December, for November. I feel like episode 41 is gonna be a gorgeous episode. Uh, I feel like, um, what's her name again? Karasuma. Karasuma is gonna give us something interesting. And it feels like she is, I mean, she was in episode 23. She knows a lot about this story. Maybe she's a descendant of that Subaru that they mentioned. Hmm. And I think she looks gorge. I, I mean, I love her design. She, she kind of gives me Yuri vibes from Hard Catch Precure. Kind of. So I'm very excited, especially for this episode. It is a Yuki episode and, you know, we're going to see Karasuma as well. I cannot wait. Anyways, babies, this is it for now. I want to take this little time to thank the Magical Cinema Production team for this content. Thank you very much. And also the members of the Magical Cinema channel. If you're a member, thank you very much for your support here on YouTube, on Patreon, on Throne. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And if you've watched up until now, thank you so much as well. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye bye.